Hey Libra, welcome to Libra Vibes. If you're a return of you, welcome back. So we're gonna get into another reading. See what's the vibe, see what's where it has to be at this time. I send you guys much love and light. I hope you guys are doing well. So responsibly take what resonates, see what does not on this table. This is still a general reading. So spirit, what's going on with Libra? What is the overall energy kind of this message for Libra at this time? We have teachability, hollow bone, teachability. It's all right, maybe. And then we have empty well. <clears throat> Time to replenish. So You could have taught somebody something, learned somebody something, Libra, okay? Um, 28 could be significant to you. 16 could be significant. Also, the divine feminine on the bottom of the deck. So, there's also something significant about someone's well being empty, someone's well running dry in a way. Maybe you taught some someone something about your energy, you being a divine feminine, um, maybe actually like removing yourself, um, but it has this person kind of like watching here. Also, this could just be your energy. Maybe you learned something and you're realizing it's time to replenish your well, but let's get into the reading. <laughs> what the message is here there's something here about healing um so again maybe you learn something about healing and it's time to replenish your well but let's let's just get into it for what is the message here for Libra in regards to this overall energy we have the queen of pentacles and the high priestess Maybe you guys, maybe you guys were kind of like being really social here, okay? So it could be replenishing your well in that aspect that now it's time for you guys to kind of like focus on you, pull your energy back in. Someone's social battery could be like running really low. There's also something here about you guys maybe like intuitively knowing this. There's also something here where there could be some secrets. What's the high priestess? Just one spirit. What's the high priestess? Seven of swords. There could have definitely been some secrets around some uh someone being dishonest about something here. And again, maybe you were like spending on a lot of time or putting a lot of energy into being social with this particular energy and maybe kind of realizing that this person is kind of has hidden dishonor. So what is the message here for Libra? We have judgment. So your energy coming out. Maybe you guys are like calling judgment on something here. Someone. Ace of Cups. This could have definitely been a love uh, situation. You guys could even be like going over your own feelings and emotions about something. Eight of Swords energy. And this one doesn't even belong here, but it's here. So someone could definitely be in the Eight of Swords around love when it comes to you okay if it's not resonating to you as this is uh your energy here there's always a, a energy of like maybe someone could have been like let's see there's definitely an energy of assuming things here so again, if you're the one in the Eight of Swords, maybe it's time for you to replenish. 
fill your well back up. Um, I clearly see that you guys were being extremely social. Queen of Pentacles. What's the Queen of Pentacles? A love song came out right here. Uh, everything you want is right here. Everything you need is right here. Everywhere you need is an on star. Everything you dreamed of is right here. I'm right here. So, there's definitely this energy of like, someone feeling like everything they wanted, needed, was right there, but then something happened, okay? Someone could have been non-committal, okay? Spread, what's the eight of swords? Wish will not be granted. So maybe someone's kind of like stressing out about the fact that their wish is not going to be granted when it comes to love or true love. Or that could just be... Uh, Either how you feel or someone else's feeling. Who's in the Eight of Swords? Bird perch. Waiting for news, package, or letter. So, whoever this energy is, they're actually, like, waiting for a message from you, okay? They're, like, up in their head. A wish will not be granted. Maybe in regards to, like, love because of... Some type of secret or hidden dishonor. Spirit, what's going on with that? Oh, now now I'm channeling uh, baby face. I'm never keeping secrets and I'm never telling lies. I want to make it up to you. So somebody want to make something up to you. Let's get to the point, Spirit. Someone wants to make something up. What's the seven of swords? Family matters. So, seahorse, family matters. So, this could definitely be a masculine energy here. Um, again, maybe you guys are kind of just like pausing and reviewing in regards to whoever this is with this hidden dishonor. There's also something significant about using your intuition here. Um, you could have called judgment on family members that were being deceptive. Um, or again, kind of like lying. Someone... Spirit, who is lying and why? What is the lies about a two-faced friend? Okay, let's get to it. So, maybe you're like reviewing or calling judgment on a, right, someone you, you were being social with. You're really were, were in a social butterfly type of energy. Okay, a lot of Libras are really social. Okay, they tend to be social butterflies. Even if they're not trying to be in a way, I would say. So... There's something significant about feeling like this was like a dream, whether it was a person of a romantic interest or a friend. It's like someone definitely learned something, right? You could have learned something about a two-faced friend. You could have learned something about family. Or maybe you taught somebody something, like I said, um, maybe what it means to be loyal to be honest to not have hidden dishonor to tell lies okay so this energy could definitely be external to you there's also a heavy energy of someone being non-committal here so you could have even taught somebody something about that being non-committal not wanting to be in a higher level of commitment or It's like now someone's waiting for news. Like, look, confirmation on that. It's like my wish is not going to be granted. I'm just here waiting. Libra called judgment on me. I was being two-faced. Tell me more about the two-faced friend. <clears throat> Four of pentacles in reverse. So if it, if, if it resonates to you as a friend, there's something significant about this person kind of being... Like, in a jealous energy here when it comes to you. Why would they be jealous? Someone didn't think first or something as well. Two of Cups. 
also whoever this person is it's like you should have been locked in with them or maybe you felt like you were locked in with them but it didn't turn out that way there's something here about jealousy whether it has to do with maybe you possibly falling in love with someone or being in union with someone it could even be uh if it resonates to you as the relationship maybe this person was being jealous of some type of for something why this in the eight of swords or will be two of pentacles there's something significant here about juggling also negotiating maybe someone is trying to figure out how they can negotiate with you um in some type of way they could also be stressed out about just kind of like hearing back from you it's like honestly you guys are showing up in a way of like Ooh, just really uh like you're letting this go so what is Libra's current energy around this situation if this reading resonates with them we have the knight of cups in reverse so maybe you just feel like if it was a love situation that this person is just a player if it was a friend uh type of situation it's kind of just like releasing the energy maybe you feel like they were acting really childish in a way but there's also you could even feel like your heart goes out to them <laughs> that's some libra shit oh my heart goes out to you i'm sorry that you was a player i'm sorry that you was such a two-faced fucking friend all right um Give me one for the two-faced friend. Four of Wands. So for someone here, this two-faced friend could have been uh, an Aries energy. There's also something significant about uh, you and this person being in the same community celebrating together being really excited together um for someone here you could have literally been like maybe planning a wedding or something here when you realize this person is being two-faced or this is someone that what's the four wands ten of swords in reverse this could also be someone that attended your wedding um or you attended theirs but there is something significant about things being difficult with this person you could also view this person as someone that's kind of like really evil really toxic and maybe you guys are kind of like releasing this person they could have also backstabbed and betrayed you multiple times and maybe now you're finally deciding that um whatever this person is wishing for or hoping to happen between you guys. It's like you're letting it go. I really feel like they're in the energy of kind of like waiting, being in the Eight of Swords, waiting for news, waiting for messages, waiting to hear from you. Um, also, if that's the case, I feel like their wish is going to be uh, broken. It's not going to be granted as far as that. I mean, we know how Libras are too. Um, we might not reach out, especially again, there's something about teaching this person and kind of like their well is dry now. Um, you guys could just be focused more on like working and you could even be in the energy of where you don't want to be in a high level of commitment. But let's see. Who is really learning something? So who is learning something from this situation? Six of Wands in reverse. If you block someone, if you weren't able to move forward, death. So I feel like it's definitely you guys. Um, 
and them it's it's kind of like both because it's like you're teaching them about what it is for your energy to be gone and you're learning what it is to kind of like maybe block things out or block people out kind of put an end into things transform and change and kind of move forward there's also an energy of maybe you spent a lot of time in this situation and you should have been kind of like wrap the shit up but you didn't all right if this is your message so again tire responsibly so honestly for what do you what do you want Libra to know about this what is your advice in regards to this someone will try to make you do something against your will club okay so for someone here be mindful of someone if it's a friend here there could have definitely been a situation where it's like let's go to the club and then you're being social right you're extending yourself and then you find out this friend is two-faced there there's some type of lies going on there's jealousy um and again maybe again uh draining your social battery in a way but just kind of maybe finding out you was doing it with somebody that's fake. And and a big pet peeve of shit of mine, I don't know about any other people. I don't want to spend time uh, with or talking to people or putting my energy into people that's fake or two-faced, right? So you, you guys might feel the same way. So there's also something significant about someone being a player in a way. There's also an energy around maybe for someone here, I don't know, maybe you even attended a strip club and didn't want to or something here, yeah, but, or maybe this is where this player energy was. <laughs> Spirit, what's the strip club energy about? The Empress in reverse. So maybe for someone, maybe you dealing with someone who has a codependency on going to the strip club or something. Um, That energy is strong as well, so. It, especially if it's a player energy, maybe the um, that's where the juggling came in. At. That's where the highs and the the highs. Oh, something about high, saying high. But someone it has that like codependent energy on a strip club, like what? <laughs> but it's a player energy, so it makes sense. Also, it's just kind of showing that you guys, again, like I said in the beginning, removing your energy, taking back your energy. You possibly may not even be showing this person any grace. Um, definitely not giving them any type of nurturing energy. So, again, I feel like you learned them something, Libra. Ten of Cups. For someone here, this could have been a childhood friend. Um, doesn't have to be. There could also be something significant about 10 months, okay? Um, 10 years for someone. But you guys are kind of like maybe feeling more peace and more joy regardless. There's also a connection between uh, you guys' family. In a sense, right, sometimes... Uh, you view your friends as family as well. So, also, there could be new love for you here. New love with a twin flame energy for someone. Also, if this resonates as possibly being a twin, maybe they're all up in their head. There was defi definitely manipulation. And someone is like, again, now it's like, oh, I'm lonely now without Libra. <laughs> they lonely now without y'all bad confirmation on that so i guess being two-faced they haven't hidden dishonor um or someone kind of literally being codependent on a strip club spread what's about they would try to make them do something fork in the road look at this person showing up in this monkey energy okay so this is someone here that could definitely try to get you stuck, get you confused, again, get you to do something against your will. 
Why would they be trying to get them to do something against their will? All that glitters. Because maybe there's a heavy energy of this person kind of like being fake and being a liar. Now, I don't know what they want you to do against your will. Spirit, what they trying to get them to do against their will? Besides, maybe they went to the club and they didn't want to. Or something about chaos and conflict. So maybe because of the chaos and conflict, this person is like... Maybe even for you to get into some type of drama. Maybe you already did it. And again, that was something, a teachable moment for you. Maybe how you're, maybe how just extending yourself too much, overextending yourself uh, to some fake ass people here. Maybe there's a, a big energy around them not being healed. However, it's resonating. For someone here, this could definitely be a karmic masculine energy. If, they, if they're codependent on a strip club. What about this news that they're waiting for? Someone's waiting for you to tell them like, you're the one who... Let's see, spirit, just one. What about this bird perch? New life. So for someone here, maybe they'll just be stressed the fuck out that they're kind of waiting to hear from you and maybe they won't hear from you. It's like you guys are more focused on stretching into your new life, uh, paying attention to your crown chakra downloads that you've been receiving and... Again, I feel like they'll just be up in their head waiting, especially if this resonates as a cheater. Like, or again, even a, a fake ass friend. What about this fake ass friend? Trouble accusations. So, again, there's something here where uh, maybe they were accusing you of something. You could have been accusing them. It could have been some back and forth shit. Um, someone could have even had a situation where you actually went out to eat and maybe you guys kind of realized, oh, this person is being fake as fuck. It wasn't a carefree time. <laughs> Whoever reading this is, it was not a carefree time. So if, if it resonates in any aspect, the point was that there was something that you guys were learning. It was a teachable moment about cheaters, fake ass friends, Okay. Spirit, what is their advice if they resonate? Temptation will test you. Something about April. Some confirmation on the Aries energy. What is... Oh, you need to defend yourself. Shield, okay? So again, if you feel like you're depleted energetically and you've been this social butterfly and you've been extending yourself to a cheater and a fake-ass friend... It's kind of time for you guys to defend yourself. And part of defending yourself is protecting your energy. That's that's one of the biggest things, right? Um, removing yourself from these situations. Again, it was a teachable moment for both parties. Um, also, currently, there's something significant about whatever this was against your will. I feel like you already did it. So now it's like moving forward, it's like defending yourself, having this shield uh, protection, right? So that you guys can focus and stretch into your new life energy here. Um, again, it sucks when you deal with cheaters. It sucks when you deal with fake ass friends, but it's like, what is this teaching me, right? That's the way that we have to view things instead of, why is this happening to me? What is this teaching me? So if you kind of replace that with that, you kind of look at things differently. So maybe that's just the, the message in itself. So instead of feeling like, oh, why is this happening to me? What is this teaching me? Uh, 
a journey either physical or mental carriage so again uh for someone here this could be some drama with someone again that you have a child with um maybe someone you got a child with is addicted to the damn strip club or something but there could have also been a chaos and conflict around like a baby energy i don't know if someone was fighting around a carriage or something but again however it's resonating just know that this was a teachable moment for you so spirit what do you have to say about libra defending themselves in the future october shout out to october though shout out to the october libra shout out to the september libra um so defend yourself there may october libra shit maybe that's all that it means is that this reading is is definitely for someone uh who's an october libra october 16th could be significant to you october 10th um there's also something significant about defending yourself when it comes to falling <laughs> falling in love or falling in friendship okay um sometimes you gotta vet friends the same way that you would someone that you're dating so again defend yourself when you're falling here also this person could have been trying to accuse you of something here um what were they trying to accuse them of table hard work ahead so maybe someone could have accused you of bringing nothing to the table if uh in a relationship or in a friendship maybe someone that tried to dress it up as valid criticism or someone you know is undependable and insincere so there it is um just also know that this was protection for you as well um i know that sometimes when we go through things we don't look at look at it that way either like oh maybe this is just the divine protecting me in a way protecting me from this cheater protecting me from this two-faced and fake ass friend but when emotions are high you don't really see it that way so just know that this was protection for you uh because this person is undependable and insincere so having on a fake ass friend for sure even even oh in regards to that there was just jealousy there a bunch of cat also this for someone here, there could have been an energy of, I'm going through some chaos and conflict in my relationship, so I'm kind of being a fake-ass friend, or I'm kind of being uh, undependable, or maybe just kind of like acting out of character or out of order, or just kind of maybe even just revealing their true self to you. Um, sometimes people do that too, right? They be going through something with their person, and then they kind of like start acting weird with their friends but i i say it like that because that just means that they fake as fuck um maybe someone had a uh maybe someone's masculine has an issue with the strip club or a codependency on a strip club and then it kind of caused this other person to kind of react or act out or just show show themselves to you that they were being a fake ass friend okay Right? It's like kind of seeing, seeing their real face. Spirit, so if it resonates to them as a friend, what is your advice? A fake ass friend. Well, focus on your finances. Focus on your wealth. Okay, there's also something significant about, uh, again, your new life, your wealth. Defend yourself, defend your energy, shield yourself. Um, their wish is not going to be granted. I don't even want to ask what they wish were was because who cares? Um, it's just, again, it's kind of like, again, the divine kind of revealing this, make it, teaching you something, and most importantly, teaching them something. I really feel like 
the teachability energy is more towards the person who is either lying, being jealous, having hidden dishonor, being a fake ass friend, right? Um, especially if there's something where someone went to the club and someone was mad at that and then kind of like, that's weird as fuck. So tarot responsibly, take what resonates, leave what does not. Um, initials for this reading, we have T L J R U C B and O. So I send you guys much love and light and I'll see you in the next song.